Good morning, SoFlo. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for watching. We are here on the water in Fort Lauderdale, and all month long, we have been sharing stories from Black voices. As Black History Month comes to a close, we thought we'd introduce you to someone who is truly remarkable. Let's meet him. Our guest this morning for close to 30 years has been a game changer in the business world, touching industries from real estate to construction. And now he's on the water as CEO of P3 Group Incorporated. It is my pleasure to welcome to Insight South Florida, Deep Brown. Good Jason, morning. Thank you so much for having me, having me on your show. It's wonderful to be on your super yacht. And um, the name of the super yacht, ladies and gentlemen, is Self Made. And I think that's very emblematic of who you are, D. You wear Absolutely. so many hats. You are a philanthropist, you are an entrepreneur, you are a producer, you are a talk show host, you are a podcast host. But the through line of all of that is education. Why? Jason, it's quite simple. Education for African Americans and people of color is a game changer. Uh, it opens up possibilities that otherwise would not exist. And so I've had a keen interest on not just educating myself, I mean, not in the classroom, but also independent research, mentorships, uh, sponsorships, those sorts of things. Uh, but taking it to the next level in creating educational opportunities for others through our scholarship programs, endowments, uh, through our 10 grand for your band initiative, and also through providing uh, our Attack on Hunger uh, program on college campuses that are allowing students to go to school and e educate themselves without being uh, uh, subject to uh, food insecurity. You continue that advocacy, though, through the media endeavors you have. You are yes. a podcast host with your podcast, Guys to Limit. You host two television shows, Self Made and also HBC and You. Which, speaking of HBCU, you are a lifetime member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Yes. How did that community impact your life? Well, Jason, I tell everyone, uh, be being a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated is one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my lifetime. It has provided not just um, the, the brotherhood, but it, it provides a social infrastructure. It also provides a, a network infrastructure. And so from the standpoint of being able to uh, open doors, uh, we have fraternity brothers that we are uh, in, involved with ventures with. We have uh, fraternity brothers that are in every key position you can think of in the world. And those relationships have been critical to growing and expanding my business uh, globally. And so I think that um, the fraternity uh, is like none other. It's been, it's been a, a great decision. Who are some of the celebrities and notable personalities you've hosted um, here on Self Made? You know, we've had so many, but I'll, I'll name a few. Uh, we've had um, Omarosa. Oh, Omar Lady o, o. Lady O. Okay. Yeah, who's also my Chief Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Officer. Isn't she great? She's great. And so, but we've had uh, Emmett Smith, NFL Hall of Fame running back Emmett Smith. I've had the assistant head coach for the Seattle Seahawks. I've had the defensive back coach for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, we hosted Rick Ross's uh, daughter, I think it was her 20th birthday party uh, last summer, Toy and uh, it was great. And so that's just to name a few, but we've had uh, a variety of NBA, NFL, and entertainers on board. As I said earlier, you have touched so many big industries in so many private sectors. Now you have gotten into yachting. Why yachting? Well, when I purchased Self Made and I came up with the name, I felt like this was an opportunity to highlight to our young people of color that there were opportunities out here that were achievable. Self Made represents the American dream. It represents that despite all of the social injustice that they talk about every day, and, and of course there's a lot of work that needs to be done in that area, despite all the negativity that we see uh, or hear about on the news and in this country, this country still offers unprecedented opportunities for individuals to pull themselves up by the bootstrap and become super successful. If they are willing to pursue their dreams to the fullest, and they're willing to use their ingenuity, their commitment and work ethics to go after it. They can do anything they put their mind they to. They can do anything they put their mind to right here in America. Right here in America. I say it time and time again, D, that you know we have the power of television to connect with so many people and spread so many great messages. As we culminate Black History Month, what is your message for the community? My message for the community is to dream big and execute on those dreams because a dream without execution is really just, a, just taking a nap, right? So at the end of the day, I think that we have so many individuals with so much talent in this country. And the one thing that people are afraid of, they are afraid of failure. And so you can't be afraid to fail because that fear of failure is what prevents execution. So you have to understand that failure 
it's just part of the process. It's like making gumbo. Failure is just one of the ingredients you put in the pot, right? <laughs> yes. And it's what you learn from those failures. It's how those failures make you a stronger and better person that truly defines you and that truly contributes to your success. And I don't think an individual can be truly successful at the highest level unless they experience failure.